एकदम हलवा बेबी हलवा टेस्टी <laughs> some things uh, the people mostly i know from guyana when uh, a baby born the older people they make this thing normally the called halwa normally the mother in law or the mom yeah they would come and make the halwa and give it to the, the baby daughter, mother the, yeah the, the baby daughter in law or something like that yeah the baby mother it's like a old tradition So that's why we got my today making the halwa so we can remember how to make this halwa. Nice so you make halwa for all your grandchildren then? Yeah. Yeah. Who was the last one you made halwa? Me. Me? Your grandchildren. Me. So now that the flower has been parching wanted to add the milk. So we're just using a can of carnation milk and then we added some water to make it a little bit more liquid. Ginger in here. And the masala? Yeah, the ginger we got. Mm? <laughs> masala. A little bit black pepper. Mm -hmm. And the sugar to? Yeah. Okay, so now we have all the ingredients in the pot, adding the extra water. And What we're doing is trying to dissolve all of this into a nice smooth paste. And as you see, we put some ginger in it. So we eventually going to strain all of this liquid in a strainer to make it smooth. You don't want no lumps, you don't want pieces of ginger. So, this is the part where she says to just go ahead and strain it. That's how we strain it. I use a big strainer for all of it, and then we're going to um, mix this up a little bit just to get out all the clumps. So, Mai, yeah. you you just make halwa for everybody at six or seven, or no. not everybody? No, not everybody. Well, you experience. But Mai used to go to the nine day house to sing. Oh, you just, oh, just go nine day house to yeah, sing. Yeah, go nine day house. So Mike, can you sing us a sohar, one of those songs you sing when the baby has a nine day? <laughs> Mirahi Baname 
बिंद्राही पन में हो नाचे कन्हैया रघु नंदन हो Wow, beautiful song. Well done. Can you explain the meaning of the song to us? Tell me, Ramban, and the and the princess come and did it, and you're gonna make her one more cuckoo. Oh, okay. All right. So now this is the strain. So the halwa was strained and was put back into the pot to cook on the stove and you'll have to keep turning it until it gets thick. You can see it gets thicker here right now and this is what you call halwa and this is my version of making halwa. This is the way she does it. So here she cooking roti and she call it two in one roti. Why else do you think you can cook one other day? Mithai. Mithai? <laughs> you know if you cook Mithai? I think you're a Mithai man. Who is Mithai man? Jay. Oh, Jay, Mithai man. Yes, my. So the next menu will be Mithai, right? Make sure you bring over the Mithai man. You shall tell your grandchildren. I want to say hello to Imagine my still can cook roti. Look at this roti, wow. Nice roti they might. Next time you gotta cook goroma for us. With two in one roti. Eva Chachi. Eva Chachi. Yeah. Say hi. hi. <laughs> Chachi's kitchen. Look how the roti swell up there, girl. What? Oh, you smell like that? It's 
sound like her voice. What the heck? Come on. <laughs> In roti, this is my arm. Hara, roti, now we're going to eat. I will turn them. They're going to eat the hara and the roti. 